Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Sunspot. He made his first appearance in Marvel Graphic Novel, issue number four, that was released in September of 1982. His real name is Roberto da Costa, AKA Bobby B. <laughs> but yeah, he's a Brazilian that's five foot eight and weighs 170 pounds, having brown eyes and black hair. Now, Sunspot is a mutant that has the ability to absorb ambient radiation, in particular, solar radiation, very similar to our Kryptonian buddy, Superman. The cells of his body are very efficient at absorbing and redistributing this power however he wants. With him actually being cloaked in darkness whenever his power is activated, due to him draining all of the ambient light that's immediately around his skin. When he's powered up, he has moderate to vast superhuman strength, being shown as getting stronger over the years, all the way to the point that he once made the dubious claim that he was the physically strongest mutant on Earth, and boasting that he was stronger and faster than Gladiator. Although these words may be a bit of bravado, due to him occasionally being impulsive. However, he was shown to be able to temporarily help restrain Gladiator, and he rocked an alternate universe Hulk with one punch that was able to draw blood. So the jury is still out on his power levels. He also has moderate superhuman speed, reflexes, and agility, as well as being able to fly up to 750 miles per hour. And in some instances, he can actually go much faster and attain escape velocity, going into planetary orbit. Now, if this wasn't enough, he also has a mastery of thermokinesis along with his photokinesis, being completely immune to all intensities of heat and light, as he can absorb and project both. Matter of fact, he can even absorb weaponized laser light, which is mind-boggling in itself. Sunspot routinely channels absorbed energies into concussive energy blasts, with the most powerful blasts he has being called dark solar plasma blasts. This dark energy hitting with about 20 tons of force. And just like our Kryptonian buddy, he is self-sustaining, being able to use the light and energy he's absorbed to go indefinitely without consuming anything. Now, even in his normal human state, Bobby is formidable, being well-trained in martial arts by Wolverine, Captain America, Black Panther, and Daredevil. And this is in addition to his Brazilian martial arts training in Capoeira. He also is an intelligent tactician and businessman, fluently speaking multiple languages, as well as being the billionaire that inherited the CEO title of Da Costa International, and having the money and proficiency to acquire the AIM organization. So Bobby inherited long money just like Batman. Now, Bobby grew up in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, as the heir of an Afro-Brazilian millionaire and an American wife. But although he grew up privileged, he loved athletics, particularly soccer, and was quite skilled during his teenage years. During one of these matches is when his mutant powers first manifested, with him accidentally throwing someone across the field that he got into a fight with. This spectacle attracted the attention of some unsavory types within the Hellfire Club, leading all the way up to an unfortunate scenario where his beloved girlfriend would lose her life for him. And it was then that he would meet Professor X who would help him get justice for his lost love. From there, he would follow the professor and receive training in the use of his powers and become a member of the New Mutants becoming best of friends with his teammate Sam Guthrie, a.k.a. Cannonball. As time went on, Sunspot would lend his formidable powers to multiple different teams, not only spending time with two iterations of the New Mutants, but also being a part of the Fallen Angels, X-Force, X-Men, Hellfire Club, and Avengers. Not to mention, as I stated earlier, that he used his resources to buy AIM, which he then used to investigate the coming multiversal incursion. Just after his second run with the Avengers, he would contract the Impox disease, with it actually enhancing his powers, albeit at the severe cost of him prematurely aging whenever he powered up. Being much more powerful and older, now going by the title Citizen V, he would lead the US Avengers until he was captured by Hydra. But he would eventually be freed and then take on the title Citizen X, subsequently losing his life fighting alongside the X-Men in the War of the Realm storyline. Although our powerful billionaire would resurface as a citizen of Krakoa, seemingly being revived by the combined powers of the group called the Five. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Sunspot a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. 
I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.